You can order the CV axle used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Turn your engine off and set the parking brake. Remove the central rim cover to access the nut on the end of the transmission. Use a breaker bar and a 35mm socket to loosen, unblock, the nut on the end of the transmission. Loosen the stud bolts on the front wheels. Lift the front of your vehicle. We strongly suggest watching our video on how to jack your Ram 1500 safely before carrying out this step. Place the vehicle on the jack stands. In order to change the CV axle on your vehicle, you will need to take off the wheels to have full access. Don't forget to put the wheels under the vehicle. Finish unscrewing the nut on the end of the transmission. It is now necessary to remove the caliper assembly. Attach a wire to the body of the vehicle in order to maintain the assembly when it is removed. Using a socket wrench and a 21mm socket, unscrew the two holding screws on the caliper mount. Remove the caliper assembly and fasten it. Unscrew the retainer from the disc. Then, remove the disc. Hey, it's Alex from CarParts.com. If you enjoyed this video and want to support us, like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, back to work. Then use a fork to unclip all the clips that hold the ABS sensor cable in place. Remove the cable from the last clip. Next, unclip the ABS sensor cable retaining clip behind the mudguard. Disconnect the connector by pushing the red plastic tab, then lever and pull the tab. You can now move the cable aside. You must then disengage the upper control arm ball joint of the wheel knuckle. Release the ball joint with the ratchet and a 21mm socket. Use a hammer to strike the knuckle. The ball joint should come out of the knuckle. Brush off the nut of the lower control arm ball joint and spray it with penetrating oil. Loosen the lower suspension arm ball joint nut using a ratchet and a 24mm socket and unscrew the nut a few threads. It is now time to remove the outer tie rod from the knuckle. To do so, we recommend watching the video How to Replace the Outer Tie Rod Dodge Ram 1500. Then, finish unscrewing the upper control arm ball joint. Then, remove the ball joint from the wheel knuckle. Apply penetrating oil to the lower control arm ball joint. Then, hit the wheel knuckle with a hammer to disengage the ball joint. Finish unscrewing the nut of the lower control arm ball joint. Then, remove the wheel knuckle by disengaging both the front CV axle and the control arm ball joint. You can now disengage the front CV axle from the front differential by hitting it with a hammer. Then, pull the CV axle out completely. You must now remove the stub shaft from the CV axle with a hammer and a crowbar. Clean the stub shaft with brake cleaner and a paper towel.
Then, wipe off the impurities on the seal with a paper towel. Reinsert the stub shaft into the differential. Use a plastic mallet to fit it into place. You can order the CV axle used in the video on the carparts.com website via the link in the description. Take the new CV axle and unscrew the nut supplied with it. Reinsert the CV axle onto the stub shaft. You must now fit the wheel knuckle back into place. Grease the part that will be in contact with the lower control arm ball joint. Install the wheel knuckle by inserting it into both the CV axle and the lower control arm ball joint. Secure the assembly by tightening the nut that holds the ball joint in place until there is contact. If the nut turns with the ball joint, use a ratchet and a 12mm socket to hold the ball joint in place. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. If you want to know which tools and parts we use in this video, just check the description and you'll find everything you need. Then, apply silicone grease to the flat part that will be in contact with the upper control arm ball joint sleeve. Do not grease the inside of the cone. Then, use a jack to lift the wheel knuckle in order to retighten the nut that holds the upper control arm ball joint in place. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Put the outer tie rod back in place in the knuckle. Remount the castle nut and tighten it using a ratchet and a 21 mm socket. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Take the key and fit it into the castle nut. Use a screwdriver to bend the key. Remove the jack. Reinstall the brake disc. Then, put the retainer back in place. You can now reinstall the caliper assembly. And screw it back on. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Don't forget to remove the cable that you use to hold the caliper assembly together. Replace the ABS sensor cable and clip it back into its slots. Then, reconnect it. Clip the ABS sensor connector back inside the mudguard. Replace the hub nut. Then, while blocking the rotation of the hub with a crowbar, screw it back on. Finish tightening using a torque wrench. Then, you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put the car back on the ground and block the wheels properly. Operation complete.